Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming. So, we've done the Godwood grind, and as you can see, we, our battle rank went up to 7, and we don't want it up any higher than that at this point, really. So, Impressive, huh? as you can see, we got Rush's Herbs up, we got Faye's Herbs up, but not as much as I would have liked, and of course our other healers, Vega, Megaleus went up very well, but Pro Procreus just didn't. But we do have an opportunity later on to go back and do that grind again if we so desire. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to be doing a couple of quests. First, we're going to be doing Paris's quest. Where we're going into um, Mercado Castle. If you remember, we went in there just to explore and get the treasure chest and the morsels. So this time it's just straight to the quest itself. No exploring, just straight to it. There's Jorgen, where we've been collecting the boots of remembrance and all things like that. We'll be doing him at some point. Yes, we're ready to go, Paris. If you remember, we have to go and save Charlotte. So that's what we'll be doing right now. Like I say, we've already explored the Mercado Castle in an earlier video. So it's just a question now of going. And we are going through this part into the next part where there's... I'll show you on the map when we get there. Do I know what I'm doing? It's a good question. I've got myself lost. What an idiot. I've got myself lost already. How many times have you been here? So we are going there to that circle with all the dots around. That's where Charlotte is being held. And that's where we are going. Oops. No messing about there. Time to die. Well, there you go. We will do our best. What have we got here? Yes, okay. So, you can do that. You can go there. You can do that. And you can recover your health. That is my healing unit. Come on, let's kick some A. Wow, what are you doing? I feel stronger than before! Nice bit of gold.
A bit of intrigue there. Who's writing these letters? And so we have saved Charlotte. Godson of Love, we need that. We need three of them actually, three stones, uh, for a, another uh, side quest later on in the game. And this is how you, each one of them you have to do a quest for. So, just so you know. There we go. Right then, what are we doing now? I believe, yes, we are the Scaredy Cat Magus. This is our second side quest. This is a very easy one. We have to go check out these pillars. Can I remember it before it tells me? Let's see, C4 BDE1, something like that. C4 B E O A1. Okay, I wasn't fired off. So to the Great Sun Sea, which we've been to on many occasions and will continue to do so. C4BEA1, that's the correct one, don't forget. And that literally all we have to do here is to run up to the pillars in order and interact with them. Oh, how do I always get spirit lords? We can interact with these pillars in the correct order and then go pick up something. So that's A. Obviously this one over here is B. And what a surprise this one over here is C. Now have to find four. Again, we are we are avoiding everything because we are trying to keep the VR as low as possible. One of these days I'll actually do a playthrough where I don't care about how high the VR is. Just to see what difference it actually makes in the game. Maybe I'll do that on the next playthrough after I've done this one. And there's four. And this is all this quest is. I mean, if you wish to end the boredom by just fighting anything in here, you can do if you like, but you don't have to. We will be taking those on at some point because uh, we have to kill three spirit lords uh, as a guild task, but I believe the game itself forces you into the fights so that they get done anyway. I'm not too sure. Don't bother flying at me. Do not bother. Go away. So there's A. So, so I'll go to B.
And now we have to go to E, which is all the way over here. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm only talking because it's just boring looking at moving across the desert. I think I've mentioned this before, that when I first played this game, there was no sprint button, even though you can't tell it's sprinting. And it would take forever to do this. We'll pick you up while we're here, because we've got nothing better to do. Okay, later. But since the remaster, they included a sprint button, or a run button. And now we have to go all the way back to the beginning to do A, C, 4, B, E, A, 1, yes. Like I say, there's no fighting involved in this particular quest, unless you actually want to. It's not always spirit lords when you come here. There could be other things. So, you know, if you're needing some components or something to complete a guild task, feel free to attack them. And there we go, this is A. And now, straight across, and that pillar there is one. Now what I do, or what I like to do, is I like to face this way. You'll see why in a minute. Somebody appears. Who is this person? They disappear. So now we need to run in the direction they were walking before they disappeared. And that's all there is to it. Very, very simple side quest. And there's the Godzone of Souls. If you remember, I said we need three of them. Each one is attached to a quest. So we've now got two of the three and when we get the third one we can go and and complete another quest in an area which we haven't opened up yet and so let's move on so you keep saying Pegasus that's the only thing about this game until you've actually upgraded their weapons they will keep asking for stuff. I need this, I need this. It gets monotonous after a while. So what we're doing now is we're off to sell a Palais and we're going to be doing Rago's quest. We're going to be doing two quests. We're going to be doing Rago's quest and then we're going to go straight on and do Violet's quest. But that will be in the next video because Rago and Violet's quest can take a bit of time and I don't want to get the videos running too long. So, thank you for dropping by. It really is appreciated. Please consider hitting that like button if you've enjoyed this particular video. Leave a comment if you like. Good, bad or indifferent, 
I appreciate them all. And maybe even subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss a simple, a uh, simple, a single episode. I'm having an OAP moment here, I think. You won't <laughs> miss a single video. So, I hope I will see you in the next one. Until then, thank you very much for watching. It really is appreciated.